here today to finally share my new and improved blow method routine whatever we're gonna call it i filmed this like a week ago and then two days later i did it again but i pinned my hair and now i have to redo it all and show you how i'm pinning my hair it's a mess but i think it did help and i think the other trick at the end is just letting the ringlets fall i would be done hairspray it and then immediately start like throwing it around and running my fingers through it because i want it to like look good when i leave but if you give yourself some time to just let them sit, really cool. I think how they fall is like perfect. And then after like 30 minutes, an hour, start like tossing it around. Who am I to say though? I don't do do what you want. But that is my current theory. I did pull my neck this morning. I woke up at like five o'clock and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna read for a little bit. Maybe fall back asleep. Reach for my book in a stupid way. I know that now. But reach for my book. It's like, see how our bed has that? Like it's like up there. So I'm like laying down and I like reach like that. And as soon as I like, nothing popped, but I just like felt it pull in a weird way. And I was like, this is, this is gonna fuck me up for a few days. And it's fucking me up. Had a little gardening doinker session and I'm feeling good. And let's do this before my hair gets too dry. Oh wait, I have to do it on my phone too. Film a shorter one for IG. But give you guys the real deets. Which some of the details really make a difference. And it's kind of hard to describe in like a short video when I'm like trying to keep your attention, not bore you. Do you have my handy dandy ring light? Because it's a rainy, gloomy day. Gonna do some detangler. It looks pretty middle to me. Okay, I don't even think I gave you guys actual like details, but I use the Dyson Airwrap. I got this a couple years ago now. Obsessed. Um, you can change the direction at the top of this one. So like if I want to curl up versus curling down, I just switch this. It has different attachments. If you have shorter hair and want like a one inch barrel, they have that. They have like a round brush attachment. This is my favorite. I usually use the round brush attachment just for my bangs, but this time I'm gonna try something a little bit different. It has heat and then like the fan setting. So if you want it lower, I never really mess with the fan, but the heat, I have it on hot for like 15 seconds and then put it on cool for like 10 to 20 seconds. Gotta reset the breaker mode. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna do some Unite hair oil. I usually do this at the end too, but it kind of works as like heat protectant and then it also helps like frizzy hair. <laughs> Behind the scenes of being a fucking influencer. The brain is rotting. We're gonna start on the bottom section. Yep, yep, yep. It's pretty wet still. And I like to use the comb. Usually I do it right before I do that piece because then it makes sure that it doesn't get like caught up. Cause then if you get like even like one or two hairs not laying perfectly flat around the barrel, it gives you like kinky curls. You know what I mean? I think it's like a tornado siren, but someone's just cleaning out their car. So loud. We're gonna curl the bottom layer. Up. We'll do four different layers. So we'll go up, down, and then the top layer I kind of do a mix, like up and down. forever this time. I did forget to hairspray the first set of rollers, but it's fine. All right, now we flip this 
little guy is curling under. Run a comb through. Minimize the kinks. Some of my curlers, curls, do sag, and uh, it's just something I'm okay with. Yes, right? <laughs> Trust the process. Pro tip, take your rings off when you're doing this. I feel like my hair keeps getting caught as I'm trying to like roll shit up. Last layer, okay. Heavy. There's a lot of it up here because I have shorter layers now, which definitely helps with a bouncier blowout look because my hair is just so heavy. Like it's fine, but there's a lot of it. So then layers help make it lighter so that it holds better and just if you have more bounce up here and down here, you know, just all at the bottom. Bruh, I've been doing this all day. I think your car's clean. Like I think it's clean. Switching direction again on this top layer. Back is probably chaotic. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna walk downstairs and see what John says. I just said one more hairspray over. And we'll wait maybe three minutes. Take it off. Eat a meal? Yeah, I'm sharp enough. You like my hair? Curly. Got cherry nipples? <laughs> yeah. The moment of truth. Let's do it. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start. I should probably start underneath first, huh? I'm scared about the bangs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I think I hate the bangs. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna run my fingers through it. Yet. These bangs are. Oh my god. <laughs> this is okay. I think I like it how it does this side, so curling towards my face. Okay, now we wait. It's been like an hour. I'm gonna start kind of toss them around a little more. The bangs are better. <laughs> Sometimes there's like pieces I just need to touch up, like one's just like, yeah, I'm thinking about this guy. I'm just kind of like extra while the rest are still kind of like ringlets, you know. But I think it looks good. And I like how it falls too. Sometimes it's like aggravating because it doesn't lay exactly how you want or there's like one piece. Okay, now I'm gonna film some fall outfits and hope they come together. <laughs> 